What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the how-to videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a brake caliper. So recently I had gone to the junkyard and gotten um, a five lug swap for my Fox Body Mustang and I went with SN95 PBR brakes. But before I put them on the car, I just want to be 100% sure and rebuild them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the front two piston PBR brakes on a 99-04 Mustang. It's the same process for almost all front disc brakes. The rears are different and let me tell you, that's a nightmare and a half doing the rears. I have the caliper already off, it's cleaned and we're gonna just start working on it. So here it is, let's get right into it. So here's my brake caliper and it's already all cleaned up and ready to go. So here are my old pistons and dust boots and all this nasty stuff. So what you gotta do, is go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or somewhere and get yourself a rebuild kit. And what's in the rebuild kit is just two dust boots and two square cut seals is all that's in here. That's all we're gonna be changing. You're gonna find out real fast that there's nothing really to these front disc brakes. I mean, all it is is a seal, a piston, and the dust boot. Okay, so now that we got our clean caliper, we gotta figure out how to get these pistons out. And so the easiest way on our front caliper is to shoot compressed air into here and it'll pop them out. But they come out with a lot of force. Let me tell you, it's like a rocket when these things come off. So you wanna have some kind of piece of wood or something to catch these things. And if your piece of wood is too thick, like mine is, you'll have to finagle it. So we'll go through it and pop these things out. And the other thing I like to do is I like to put the pistons back where they came from. So on mine, this is marked, I think that's a five. Yeah, it's a five. So I'm just gonna take my paint pen and get a little blue dab, blue dab, just so I know which one goes to which. Makes me sleep better at night. So with your air compressor, you're gonna need one of these things to shoot enough air into the piston and then pop it out. So let's go for it. Oh man. And brake fluid might come out, so be careful. <laughs> All right, so now that we got, this one is popped out, it is loose. We could pull it out if we wanted to, but we gotta get this one out. So the way I was doing it, it worked pretty good, is you get your C-clamp and you don't wanna put pressure on it, really. You just wanna hold it in place so you can have enough force to pop this one out. So. Just give it in, because if you give it too much force, you won't be able to. So right about there, just barely even ticked it in. What we'll do is we'll get our piece of wood, put it back, and then get our compressed. There you go. They are both out. All right, so you can pop them out. And this is your piston. Oh, yeah. All right, so you're gonna have a mess, so you just prepare for it. So now we can totally disassemble these calipers, and all you gotta do is pull these little dust boots off, because we're getting rid of them. So, I mean, they're real easy, they just pop right on out. And then, inside of there, like an O-ring in there that you're gonna see. And so we need to get that out. That's important to get out. That's what actually seals the piston and the brake fluid and what pushes it back and forth. So a little pick like this is perfect for that. So all you gotta do is go in there and pick it right out and not damage anything around it. Just, just like that. All right, so now that we got all the seals out, all, everything is out, we can start cleaning up inside of here and really making sure that it's really nice and clean inside. So we just take a rag and wipe everything out. All right, so once you get these things cleaned out, you'll have a nice surface in there that it might have some gunk built up on it. It might be pitted, and if it's pitted, you might want to consider getting different couplers all together because eh, it kind of means it's shot. These are in pretty decent shape and the pistons are in good shape as well. There's no pitting or scoring, so these are rebuildable and they will be totally fine with brand new seals. 
So what we're doing, what's important is that you see these uh, channels right here? So your rubber or your seal goes right into the channel and that goes around the piston and is what makes the pressure go in and out without it leaking. So if you have a bad seal, then your, your caliper is going to leak and it's going to be a bummer. It's not going to be very fun. So you want to make sure that little channel in there is nice and cleaned out. You might take like a little pick or a tiny little screwdriver and just, you know, make sure you don't dig in, but really clean inside of these columns just because you want that seal in there to be really, really good with no buildup. So I'm going to get to it right now and clean that up and then I'll wash it out again. So once you got those um, housings cleaned up really well, what you want to do is we kind of want to clean this up, really get the gunk out of it. So I just got some scotch bright and I'm just going to wrap it around in there and really clean these guys up. Now you can see I scratch brighted it and got it really clean inside of there. So now I'm just going to take some non-chlorinated brake clean and clean the junk out of it and just go for it and really just get everything out of these things and make sure it's really nice. And once I've blasted the crud out of it with brake clean, I'm going to take some air and just really dry it out. Moving on to the pistons. So the pistons are really important because that's what makes the seal on your caliper and that's what meets that little o-ring so nothing none of that fluid can get past it. We don't want to take really any material. All we want to do is any built up gunk or nothing we would want to get it off. So what I'll be using to clean these up is triple so what I'll be using is triple zero steel wool just because it's super fine and I mean these ones are a bad example because they are so so clean you couldn't even tell that I mean they've been used that much so but I am going to still hit it really softly with this steel wool and just clean it up just so it, it makes a better seal. So just like that it's cleaned up. Alright so both of our pistons are now cleaned up and ready to be reinstalled into the caliper. But before we get too far, one other thing you might want to do is take out your bleeder valve and if there's corrosion right here or anything, you might just want to hit it with the scuff pad real quick and clean it up just so it's nice. And then I always blow it out with the compressor just to make sure nothing's stuck in there. Before you install the pistons into the caliper, you really want to make sure this thing is dry just because if you did wash it with water, you don't want water in your caliper. It'll, it's just a bad day for everybody. So just make sure it's really dry in there. If you use brake cleaner like I did, you just uh, squirting it out with the compressor, it's probably going to be good enough and it's going to be really dry in there, but just make sure it's really dry. All right, now we can install our bleeder valve back in. It's time to actually get into our seals. So all they give you is just two square cut seals and two dust boots. So first we're going to install the two square cut seals and when we're doing this we want to loop everything up with brake fluid. That's the only thing we want to use is brake fluid. So I'll be using some AutoZone brake fluid and I'm just going to pour it in this cap so I can dip my finger in it and make sure everything's lubed up. Brake fluid is a bummer. And then loop this guy up with some brake fluid. And then I'll take some and actually put it in the caliper just so everything is nice and lubed up. And then all you got to do is fit this in there and it's not very hard. It should just go right in. Alright, so now you can see both the seals are in. So really make sure it's lubed up in there because when your piston goes in, you want it to be, it slides right in and not have a hard time. All right, so now for the piston. So I'm just going to do the same thing, get a thin layer of brake fluid on these guys just so everything slides in nice and easy and we don't got to work too hard. Okay, so now the dust boots. And this is actually harder than putting the seal in, but it's still not too bad. So I'm just going to get some brake fluid around the edge of the seal on both sides. Just This is just the dust cover. It's all it is. It's all it does is just cover this thing from dust. So I'm going to put this thing on the uh, piston. This is how I found the best way to do it. So all I'm going to do is stick this thing around. Oh, 
and then, wow, well, you don't really want it to do that, but sometimes it's a necessary evil. Okay, so now, the part that actually is helpful. So I slide this into the seal all the way down. And so this is hanging off. Makes it real easy. And then the other thing is I am putting the same piston into the same side of the caliper. So this is my blue dot and there's my blue side. So all I'm gonna do is squeeze that ring into this seal right there, that little skinny one near the front. So all I gotta do is get in there and or set it in and then work it a little bit. And there it is. So now that it's in, all I'm gonna do is slide the boot up a little bit without scoring the piston. <laughs> so and then I'm just gonna pop it in till it's snug, just like that. And now I'll do the other side. Now that are both are in, I just like to pull the dust boot all the way to the top, just because it makes everything a little bit easier. All right, so now get them in, get them centered as best you can and pushed in as far as you can with your hand. All you do is get your C-clamp and just press these guys right on in. There we go. All right, and then once you get it in straight, you can just send her on home and you'll be able to tell because it won't be super smooth, but it, it'll be a lot better than at first. So then you can just drive this guy all the way back in. All right, and there is our freshly rebuilt caliper, all ready to go. So all you gotta do is hook this thing back up to the car and you got a rebuilt caliper, it should stop really well. So that is what I'm going to be putting on my 1986 Fox Body Mustang and hopefully it stops me, unless it doesn't. That, I hope it does. If you wanna see more how-to videos, leave them in the comments what I should do, what would you wanna see? Cause, but I got a whole five look swap on a Fox Body Mustang. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe, follow along, see what's going on. And if you wanna see these calipers get cleaned up more and painted, watch this video right somewhere. It'll be here, I promise. So on that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye.